Hello and welcome to our hydroponics laboratory. What we're going to do here is we're going to figure out what the best light is for making our plants grow the best. Okay, so we want to know, we're going to be in space, we're not going to use sunlight. Our hydroponics bay is going to have artificial light and I want to know which light is best for our plants. How are our plants going to grow best? And I'm going to do this with some yoghurt pots, some kitchen roll, some crest seed and some multicoloured fairy lights. Okay, and we have got two different sets of fairy lights. One of them is just clear white light. Okay, ideally they would all be on the same um thing but this one's colored this one's white so we're having to do it separately it's not ideal so we've got white light we've got blue light yellow light green light and red light now hopefully one of these colors is going to be a the best color to grow our seeds in and i've chosen cress because it's, it usually only takes two or three days to start to grow. Okay, um, what I'd like you to do is there's a hypothesis and I want you to say which colour you think is going to be best. Okay, which colour is going to be best and why you think that. Um, you're also asked about the variables. So the independent variable is going to be what you're changing. And what are we changing? Let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got lights of different colours. We are going to change the colour of the light. Our independent variable is the colour of the light. Now our dependent variable, we can do this in many ways. We could do how high the plants are, how many plants germinate, what the plants taste like. That might be the best one, what the plants taste like. Um, what I will probably do is just rate them best down to worst which is not a very scientific way of doing things but um well, have you seen the experiment you might have done it in primary school where you put some um where you put a plant into a dark cupboard and it grows really really well because it's looking for some light but it's not grown it's it's sick and and it's the wrong color um, so you may have done that experiment so we don't want to necessarily do the tallest one. We would just want to do the one that looks best uh, or tastes best. So we need to control a few things. We need all of these to be at the same temperature, which is why they're all staying together. We need the same level of light, which is why we are going to put the same number of lights into the um, pot and we are going to give them the same amount of water okay the fact that we are using white light i know that one's out is a control plants usually grow in white light is there a way of making it better is a different color better than white so white is just our control so anyway this is how we're going to do it i've got five upside down yogurt pots here and i've got something to put them in which is going to hold them all, so space isn't an issue. Okay, now these yoghurt pots are upside down, and what I need to do is pop the LED lights through them. Okay, so I'm going to take the end, and I've got a blue light, so let's pop the blue light in. I'm going to make a hole with a compass. Okay, it's very exciting, isn't it, doing science? And that hole needs to be just big enough for me to put my blue light through. So I'm going to pause the video here and we're going to finish doing this. I'm going to put two lights in each one and then you'll see the finished results. Okay, so what I've got here are my yoghurt pots spaced out. And as you can probably see, there's blue light in this one, green in this one, yellow, red, and white. The white one's a little bit brighter and warmer than the others so there's only one in there to try and make it that little bit more comparable. 
Uh, we might have said fair test a few years ago. We do not say fair test anymore. And all of these yoghurt pots will sit flat as well. If they don't, I will pop a little weight on them so that no other light gets in. Now in the room we're in, there's no window, so that should minimise any extra light from getting in. Okay, so the next step, we have got our yoghurt pots set up. Um, and as I say, I have just used the same fairy lights that were on my Christmas tree. So the next step to do is to add some cress seeds. OK, I'm going to turn the lights off. And I've got my cress seed here. So let's open it up. Yeah. And under each yoghurt pot, I'm going to pop a few seeds. Now, ideally you would count them all out or measure the mass and so you knew how many but we are not doing the number that has germinated we could do the percentage that has germinated if we wanted um so we are going to thank you get all of our little seeds there and add a little bit of water okay so i'm going to pop some water over it all right and then the yogurt pot is going to go back over the top like this okay this one's uh, a little bit trickier because of the um, mass of the fairy lights i will get that flat in a bit okay because it's not going to go flat we're not turning the lights on yet and we're going to repeat that under the others so oh can no. you spread that out between all four of them Okay, so we'll pop some under here, and we'll pop some under that one, that's right, and some under here. No, we need some over here as well, okay? So, and we need some under this one as well. All right, so there we go. We've got our seeds. Dory, that's not very um, spaced out, is it? Okay, so we've got lots and lots of seeds. Okay, and we're going to see which one grows best. As I say, that's not a very scientific, it's a rather subjective criteria. Can you go pop that away for me, please? Thank you. Um, we're going to pop some water on. And the good news about this being kitchen roll is that if you pop water onto the side, it will go all around. And so I don't have to worry about lifting my yoghurt pots up to water the... Um, Crest seed, they can go in underneath. So let's try and get this set up over the crest seed again. Okay, like, uh, tomorrow be done. Well, I don't know. They should be done um, by the weekend, which is good because we're going to be analysing these results on Monday's lesson. Absolute worst case, we'll have to do it on Tuesday's lesson. OK, but I've got it all set up to analyse on Monday and hope it will work. And let's pop this one on here. Yes, OK. And there we go. That's, uh, I just need to put a mass on the top of that just to hold it down. Let's do this for now. OK, so, yep, go turn them on. Okay, and so we are, we have started, we've, um, we've moved over, we've got red, yellow, green, blue. Okay, so you can see where the different colours are. And now we are just going to let this run for a few days. Uh, it will be turned off at night, just in case of any fire hazard, but it will be running through the day. So for about um, 18 hours a day. Um, for the next few days and we'll see how well it does um, right so take care there's a few questions for you to answer about the experiments take care have a good weekend and I will see you next week I'm so excited about seeing you again take care bye